Please kneel for the prayer to Jesus, the divine word. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear Jesus, divine word made flesh, from the beginning you already were. Before even time began, you are Son, and with the Father and the Holy Spirit, three persons, one God. But in the fullness of time, you who created man became man yourself. Through God the Holy Spirit and Mary, you became Jesus, divine word made flesh. You came to our world to save us and show us how to live and love here, so we may live and love hereafter. Dear Jesus, divine word incarnate, please teach us to follow you. May our love for you always be made flesh, not ever lost in word or song alone. In prayer, we come face to face with you, like you with the Father and the Holy Spirit. In love and service, may we likewise come face to face with our sisters and brothers, the least of them most of all. For as we treat each other, so do we treat you. In your name we pray now, always and in all ways. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please be seated for a while. We pray for the following intentions of this Mass as shown on the screen.
A blessed day to all of you, brothers and sisters, and to those who join us in worship through this live stream at the Diocesan Shrine of Jesus, the Divine Word, in Christ the King Mission Seminary, Quezon City. Today is Wednesday of the second week of Lent. Our Mass presider is Father Ronnie Chrysostomo, SVD, Shrine Rector. Our Eucharistic celebration and devotion to St. Joseph will now begin. Please. Living our life here. One is to dominate the world or to serve. The strong and powerful, powerful dispose of their subject as if they are the owners. Jesus proposes to his own disciples a way of life characterized by service and giving one's life for others, like what he himself did. That is why it runs contrary to the request of the mother of the sons of Sevedi. Well, actually, according to scholars, it was just a um, to mellow down, to tone down the uh, ambitious ambitions of these two brothers that they use the mother because later on you would see that Jesus instead of addressing the mother it, Jesus addressed the brothers you know? and uh, here we see that uh, it is not easy to overcome this tendency and desire to uh, dominate the desire to be served and to have powers, power over others. And it is very tempting as we see in many instances people cling to power because they want to dominate and manipulate people. Here we need, I think, very subtle also, not only even within the church, no? the positions that we hold. It can be a great temptation also because we think that uh, with this power, we have more privilege, etc. Here we need a, a conversion to change this desire to dominate and precisely to temper this desire to dominate is through service and giving one's life. the uh, Via Crucis or the Stations of the Cross. We pray, we practice during Lent. I think it's a, one of the good, the good uh, means, good exercise in which we could uh, contemplate the way of Jesus of giving himself for others that could help us also in our conversion. In the first reading taken from the uh, book of Jeremiah, we find that Jeremiah suffered persecution, persecution for being faithful to his prophetic uh, vocation and also the coherence with God's plan brought him and also Jesus to suffering and to Jesus to the, his cross 
Fidelity to one's vocation is not easy and it is neither easy to understand above all when remaining faithful to his vocation leads to death. The misunderstanding and persecution have been there always throughout the history of Christianity. Yesterday and today, many men and women are misunderstood in their fidelity to their vocation and have suffered contempt, humiliation, calumnies, and even death. Remember that many religious men and women, for example, are tagged as communists because of their work, for example, for the needy, the poor, no? the IPs. It is not easy. This fidelity is learned and practiced every day in our everyday life, in small things of daily life, in those acts of service. And it is only in this that we can learn to serve by serving precisely. And uh, it is in these small things no, that we uh, learn to become more attuned to the values of Christ that is the value of service. And one who is trustworthy in small matters will be trustworthy in greater things, Jesus said. They have a beautiful uh, saying in Spanish, El que no vive para servir, no sirve para vivir, they would say. He or she who does not live to serve, does not deserve to live, especially in the context of our vocation as Christians. May the example of Jesus in the life of service help us also to go beyond ourselves, our desire to dominate, and by exercising and practicing small acts of service may help us grow in the spirit of service. Amen. Mindful of the words of Jesus, that the greatest is the one who serves, we pray to God our Father for a true spirit of service among all people. That the leaders of the church may be true servants, acting with the same concern that Christ showed to his followers. We pray and say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That government leaders may exercise their power for the good of the people and avoid discord and distrust. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may realize that success in God's eyes is not measured by the standards of the world, but by the respect we give to our neighbor. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who are sick may realize that their suffering, endured in union with Christ, can be turned into a great blessing. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That the dead may reap the rewards of their earthly sufferings in eternal life. We pray. 
Lord, hear our prayer. In silence, we pray for our other intentions. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, help us to serve each other by imitating your Son who laid down his life for us. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Brothers and sisters, that this our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Look with favor, O Lord, on the sacrificial gifts we offer you, and by this holy exchange undo the bonds of our sins. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For by your gracious gift each year, your faithful await the sacred Paschal Feast with the joy of minds made pure, so that more eagerly intent on prayer and on the works of charity and participating in the mysteries by which they have been reborn, they may be led to the fullness of grace and you bestow on your sons and daughters. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Oh, uh -huh. 
fund of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith We proclaim your death, O Lord And profess your resurrection Until you come again Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Honesto, our bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, especially our loved ones, those we remember in this Holy Mass. And all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Once again, with gratitude and joy in our hearts, we pray to our Heavenly Father. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. 
Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. We offer its other the sign of peace. Jesus, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy. of the world have mercy on us Jesus Lamb of God you take away the sins of the world grant us Behold the Lamb of God, Jesus Christ, who came to serve and not to be served. The Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. of spiritual communion my Jesus I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally come at least spiritually into my heart I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Sterling character, that the Virgin Mother could place her full trust in you to protect her. Be blessed, Be blessed and praised, praised our Father, Father and Protector, for living a life so worthy of imitation. Make us zealous to follow in your footsteps. Petitions. Blessed Joseph, faithful spouse of Mary, ever virgin and guardian father of the child Jesus, we come before you to offer you our filial love and gratitude. We, we thank, thank you, you for, for the, the loving, loving care, care which you bestowed so faithfully on Mary and the Divine Child. Show the same fatherly care now to us, who are members of Christ in the mystical bond of his body and blood. Blessed Father and Patron, be our intercessor with God. Implore for us that purity of heart which you always manifested in all your undertakings. Teach, Teach us your, your lively faith, 
your prompt obedience to God's will, your unassuming way, and your great love for Jesus the Lord. Glorious Saint Joseph, we implore your aid for the entire believing community, our Holy Father, and all the bishops, priests, and religious of the Church. Guide and assist all temporal rulers to be the model of patience and diligence for all workers and come to the aid of the poor and the afflicted so that they obtain what they need to live worthy Christian lives. Be with us above all at the hour of death. Allow us to die in the arms of Jesus and Mary as you did by the assistance of your powerful prayers. Intercede, we beg you, for the faithful departed, especially the deceased members of our families, that they may be admitted to the glorious vision of the Triune God. In the silence of our hearts, let us present to God our needs, prayers, and intentions through the intercession of St. Joseph. Joseph, most faithful, pray for us. Mirror of patience, pray for us. Lover of poverty, pray for us. Model of artisans, pray for us. Glory of home life, pray for us. Guardian of virgins, pray for us. Pillar of families, pray for us. Solace of the wretched, pray for us. Hope of the sick. Pray for us. Patron of the dying. Pray for us. Terror of demons. Pray for us. Protector of Holy Church. Pray for us. Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Spare us, O Jesus. Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Graciously hear us, O Jesus. Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us, O Jesus. He made him the Lord of his household and, prince and the prince over all over his, his possessions. possessions. Let us pray. O God, in your ineffable providence, you were pleased to choose Blessed Joseph to be the spouse of your most holy mother. Grant, we beg you, that we may be worthy to have him for our intercessor in heaven, whom on earth we venerate as our protector. You will lay, live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Saint Joseph, pray for, pray for us. us. Amen. Joy's world. 